One day, Emily was just resting inside a sighting. Sometimes she thought, oh, It's really tiring being a splendid and smooth engine like me. In fact, uh, the sun is shining, the birds are singing, it's just a nice, quiet... Uh, oh, great, here comes James, she, said, she thought. James came rushing by the sighting. It's all... Hello there, Emily. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing fine, James. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm just showing everybody my splendid paintwork that, that I just got. That's, yeah, more like you red bully. I am not a red bully. Hey, yes you do. You biff us around, and you have with a green little girl. I am not a. I am not a little girl. I am a train. Hey, don't you insult her! Yelled James. Oh, 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 oh! Buzz off, you splendid red bully! Why you? And James ran and the, the 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 cars off the rails as well as himself. Oh man, moaned James. His driver was especially annoyed. Nice work, James. Not only did you manage to derail yourself, you also managed to dis to damage the cars. It, those trucks called me a red bully. You always get you always get called a red bully by the trucks, but that's no but that's no reason for you to butt to buff them off the rails. Oh shut up, driver. <gasps> that's a bad train. Oh bad you're train yourself. <sighs> Don't worry, James. I'll get I'll pull you out. And Emily stirred off. Emily was not in the mood for this. As, as she buckled up, it up to James. Alright, here we go, she said. No, no, all right. She, Emily pulled until she finally pulled James. Oh, thank you, Emily. Sir Topham Hat was mostly annoyed. James, you have caused significant damage to the trucks. No, 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 look. I know those trucks called you a red bully, but you should have never biffed them into the siding. I'm sorry, sir. All right, James, you are forgiven. Just don't do it ever again. Understood? Yes, sir. Understood. Now, apparently, this is going to cause confusion and delay because t tonight is th because it's because it's the night train. Um, sir, what's the night train? A oh, night train. <sighs> oh, don't worry, sir. I'll explain. The night train is a train that runs in the middle of the night and carries significant of goods like car cargo, fish. Fish! Oh, yuck! Look, I know, I hate the night train. Henry was supposed to do it tonight, but he apparently is, is very ill right now. Edward bro Edward is broken, so he needs to get fixed right now. Oh. Yes, don't worry, Edward is, isn't going to be in the series until, he's, until he comes back. Alright, alright, Emily. Alright, Emily. I I'm afraid that tonight <laughs> you're going to have to shut the night train. But, sir! Oh. Emily, remember what I said, really useful engines don't argue. <sighs> yes, sir. There's, that's a good engine. Yay! Yeah. And, he, and she puffed away with James. Soon, Emily was back into her side. <sighs> finally, I could finally get some good rest. She completely forgotten about the night train tonight. <sighs> Finally, some rest. And told her top hat came. Emily, it's time for you to pull the night train. <gasps> oh man, I forgot about the night train. Sir, you should have known that I don't like a fishy trains. The fish makes me stick to my stomach. Wait a minute, I'm a train. I don't have a stomach. Like, and besides, why can't Duck or, or Donald do it? You will do as you are told, Emily. Remember what I said? Really useful engines don't argue. <sighs> yes, sir. And so top him had left. All right, Emily. It's time to go. Uh, all right. Do I? Uh, driver, do I have a choice? Sorry, I'm like I don't stand the smell either, but we can't. We have to. All right. And Emily purred away. What? What? When Emily arrived, she immediately hated the night. Yeah. <laughs> what is that smell? It's the night train, Emily. Like it's important for the mainland. Uh, yeah, yes, Emily, you have to treat the night train with respect. Oh, whatever, Galled Emily, Emily. And she soon s and popped away.
Emily E turned it off to get at this night train off there. Yeah, I can't stand this smell. It's so disgusting. Oh, me neither. I just want to get this over with. Just speed up, Emily, so we can get this over with. And she did. Emily sped up past the cart. She was going much too fast. To make matters worse, Toby was stuck at the track, uh, at the crossing. Birdie at the buzz had read, uh, was, had broken down. He was stuck on the crossing. That, this, is this is ridiculous. Look up. This is ridiculous. Is I am made from the worst products. I'm from cheap merchandising, and my motor keeps breaking. Well, if you weren't made by a cheap company like Bachman, if you were like a motorized like Hornby, then you wouldn't be broken down so much. Now an engine's gonna be coming out pretty soon, cause the that's the point of the series. And, well, I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold, hold on. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try again. Okay, okay. Oh, no, no, I ran out of gas. Once again, darn it. I, I, forget it. I, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done and in the series. No more. No more. No more. Will you two stop arguing? We will be out here in no. Oh, no. no. Alright. Guys, look out! Toby! 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 Henry, Emily's coming! What? Henry, oh, there's no way. Emily's supposed to be coming. Oh my god, she's coming! Luckily, no one was hurt, but the night train was in a terrible mess. Henrietta, that was 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 hurt. Oh my buffers! <gasps> Henrietta, are you okay? Uh, Henrietta, please speak to me. I'm okay, Toby. I'm just buffered up. Oh, you stupid Emerald engine! Yeah, who in the bloody heck asked? told you to come here during when Birdie was stuck in here! I'm sorry, it's just I couldn't stand the infernal smell! Oh, well you well you should have been more patient and- QUIET! said Sir Topham Hat. What in the bloody heck happened here? Can't trust you two anymore! It wasn't my fault, sir. It was Emily. She couldn't- she came in here when she, when she wasn't supposed to. Emily? Sir Top Hat scolded. I'm sorry, sir. It's just that I hate the- the-, the <sighs> Emily, Lee, you have caused confusion and delay. I'm sorry, sir. It's just that I couldn't stand the infernal smell of the of the train. And so, no, no, Emily, that is an excuse. I cannot accept excuses on this railway. Eight. Hey, when you are repaired, you will you for for your punishment, you will be pulling the night train every night for a whole month. <gasps> But sir, no, not the night train, any but that. I don't care, Emily. This will teach you not to go into lines when you're not supposed to. Emily felt very embarrassed. And now he spoke to Toby. I'm sorry, sir. Er, oh, I'm sorry, sir. Birdie, the bus broken down. Never mind, Toby. It wasn't. It, it wasn't your fault. No. Now as for you, Birdie, you, you, Birdie, you. As for you, Birdie. Break down somewhere else other than on the tracks. You cause severe accidents with that. Yes, sir. And and so everyone learned a lesson today.